Mickey can voice events on your server. You can create a fully customized message for members that leave or join. To override the default message, run the system message command followed by the type of event message you'd like to modify. With the set command, you can specify a simple text string, or go crazy with Miki's advanced scripting capabilities. Run the system message test command to see your event message in action. To stop the message from sending on that event, you can run the system message remove command. Here's how you can use Miki's powerful scripting language to customize your messages. You can use variable objects such as the user that triggered the event and the guild that it happened inside. To reference a variable inside a string, you can type a dollar and provide the variable inside the square brackets. For example, to mention a user, you can use user.mention to mention the user in the text. To add a new line, you can use slash n which will mimic a new line in your event message. You could also use the guild object to welcome the user to the server. In addition, you can mention channels by name, providing a hashtag followed by the channel's name. This is what our message looks like so far. The user object also contains a bot boolean, as well as a name, discriminator, and ID string. The guild object also contains an ID, icon URL, and owner value. You can use the embed object to turn the message into a Discord embed. You can provide a title, image with a URL, a color with the text or color code, author with a name and image URL, as many fields and inline fields as you like, and finally a footer with text and an image URL. Here's the result. Bear in mind that all of these properties are optional. For example, if you wanted to remove the URL from the footer, you can. If you wanted to remove the footer and maybe the image altogether, you can do that as well. There's tons more you can do with scripting, so be sure to check out the documentation in the description for more info, and stay tuned for a future tutorial on scripting. Thanks for watching.